So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a jump button for VR headsets in co-spaces. Uh, the headset that I'm specifically going to use is Class VR, but I have tested and it works out on others as well. So you can see I just have my standard uh, 3D uh, environment here, and I have my camera in there. The first thing I'm going to do is come down to my library, go to my building, and I'm going to drag in a circle. I'm going to use this as my button. I'm going to rotate this. to 90 degrees, then I'm going to click on it and transform it. There we go. Now the key in the position of this is I want to line up my circle with my camera, uh, the line of the camera. So when we're in the VR setting, it lines up and then when you click your action button, it will cause your character to jump. So we can see I'm a little off still, so I'm going to move over a little. I like it in the test that I've ran that you actually have your uh, button as far back as possible. So you can see my line, I line up directly with my camera there, so that line has to pass through the circle. I'm going to double click on my circle. I'm going to turn my coding on. I'm going to name it jump button really quick. And I'm going to click on my camera, and I'm going to turn my camera, making sure it's in a walk position. Uh, fix is generally the default, and I'm going to make sure my coding is on my camera as well. I'm going to come over to my list right here, and I'm going to simply attach my jump button to my camera so that they're nested there. So we can see that we now have that line up. The coding is quite simple then. It's when my jump button is clicked. I'm going to move my camera up, let's say, five meters and a half a second. Again, based on the physics of your game, this is where you can play around. So then I can come over to my play aspect, and you'll notice every time I jump, click that button. Now, in your VR setting, you're going to be able to hold on to the uh, controller and use the click button for that and it'll be right in line with that path. There does have some glitches when you're trying to like open a door and that it, you'll get a double uh, function as well there. Again, I like to uh, throw this all the way back. You can also put the opacity of this down or code in the opacity down to uh, have it a little bit lighter so uh, the button doesn't become as noticeable when you're coding inside your game. So for an, uh, an example of that, I would come simply down here and I would find the opacity outside my nest there of my jump button. And again, I can change that something like to 40%. Now when I click play, we can see it's a little bit more see-through. You could have it all the way off and it would still work because that camera line uh, is in line with the button. So I hope this helps as you're trying to code jump uh, function into your co-spaces using your uh, VR headsets.